What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. This is your boy Falco. I got my boy Yami here on this video. This is not a podcast, by the way. This is just us talking about what happened in July. I guess you could call it July or June showcase. Um, we're gonna be talking about that. We're gonna give you guys the good and the bad and the ugly, and we're gonna keep it real because we're not gonna we're not gonna glaze ashes because we want the game to succeed and we care about the game, but we're not gonna glaze it. Um, also, we have some before we get into it, we have some like updates to the podcast. We're not gonna be putting the podcast on my channel anymore. We're gonna be putting it on a separate channel for Rebirth Radio, strictly for Rebirth Radio, um, which is gonna be down below in the description. Go subscribe to it. It was repurposed, a repurposed channel that we used to put our Voices of Eternum podcast on a while back, if you guys followed me and Yami when we did Voices of Eternum. So it's repurposed for that. Um, and also, is there anything else? I want, what, what else was I gonna say, Yami? What else, what else what, what I was about to tell them? Announcements you were gonna say. Oh, we do have a special what? guest, special guest. Oh. For not for this but not for this for but for the next for the podcast, for the podcast. that's coming up yeah. so be on the lookout for that if you guys enjoy that let me know if you guys enjoy that podcast by the way um but yeah we're gonna talk about this showcase this showcase by the way let me put the other shit in the background we're not gonna show you any obviously visuals from it because i mean it's just a powerpoint presentation um it, wasn't much it was it was it was just stuck looping while they were talking exactly Exactly. We're not going to do you guys. Exactly. We're not going to do that. We're not going to show you guys a PowerPoint presentation because, for one, you guys aren't going to understand it really, um, unless people are talking in the background. Like they, they explained it very well, but it just right. it left a lot to be desired because it was like an hour long presentation, and I'm just happy that they basically the what was so good about this showcase, in my opinion, was that they showed that they understand that it's going to take a lot of effort to make very large, very responsive actual creation servers and they've been working on this for a long time and that's all that really matters we don't care how they get it done we just want them to get it done you know yeah and it sounds like they very clearly understand that you can't leave the massive out of mmo they exactly. they they said it multiple times in the live stream that mm -hmm. the servers have to be they have to hold you know the ten thousand players or whatever that they're designed specifically a tailor-made for intrepids vision of these giant ashes servers and it sounds like they're really putting a lot of money and effort into that they're exactly. not they're not out on the servers which is the most important takeaway from the stream this month exactly exactly and that's a that's a huge thing um we also heard that these are the, i'm going over the good stuff we'll go over the bad later on like i said i'm giving the bad and giving my opinion on stuff that i thought was kind of shaky in my opinion and also yami agreed with me and i don't think yami agreed with me just because we're homies but he agreed on his own like we were, we were we were saying it in tandem exactly. he would say one thing and i would say another and we were like saying the same exactly there was, there was, there was some there was some you know midness this stream exactly exactly but they tried to reel it in because i could i could tell that steven could see in the chat that people were getting a little antsy about the alpha two day and right. about just stuff especially considering they kind of prefaced that they weren't going to give us an alpha two date before the stream even started um but they said they were gonna give us alpha 2 information which they did which they said that the alpha 1 users um are going to be going getting into the game this month and it's going to be 500 of the top 500 players in alpha 1 like play play time wise and you know information you know, giving wise um it was a big like character level how detailed your responses were mm -hmm. basically just the top 500 testers and 500 random testers additionally mm -hmm. and they Margaret said they should get an email to join by the end of July. Yeah. So before August, those 1,000 should be in. Exactly. And then throughout August, I'm assuming the rest of Alpha 1 is going to get in throughout August. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then Alpha 2, you don't you don't even have a chance to get in until Alpha 1 is in. Exactly. So kind of narrows it down, right? <laughs> Probably going to be September. Probably going to be September. <laughs> Most likely it's going to be September. I can't. I can't believe what was that guy's name? So, uh, the the middle guy. Uh, Brian Langford. Brian Langford. I can't believe he said maybe we'll have a date for you next stream. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. And then Steven said, "Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on." He said, "Hold on, guys, hold up. Expect the date next stream. Expect the date." <laughs> he said, "Expect it." He said, "Those were Steven's words." Oh uh, yeah, yeah. And basically, Brian Langford. He said we might have alpha two day. Uh, he said he we might. He said based upon them having enough road mapping, which our assumption was basically them having enough like 
airspace or like leg room for like content to be put in after alpha 2 has started so that they're not like grasping for new content for you know people to test um yeah. so and it's more organized because these tests are very expensive i'm assuming they need to be as organized as possible exactly you know, exactly it would make no sense to waste money like that exactly same thing with what's called they just said they finished milestone 9 as well which was a major success in in their eye 89 percent mm-hmm 89 percent successful in their estimations for all the stuff that they needed to get done within it and they, which is really good i'll take 89 Consider, right considering <laughs> if you remember what is milestone nine that is everything that needs to be at the start of alpha two mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's pretty freaking good exactly. that's pretty freaking good. exactly and they said basically the 11 percent that wasn't completed was stuff that came up whether it be like data leaks and all the other stuff that they couldn't really account for um when they were trying to do it and it was based upon like a three month span of information or like of stuff that's going to be coming into the game so that's that's a lot of stuff um right. as well as milestone 10 started today and they said they had a town hall meeting after the stream so they're working their asses off it seems like <laughs> um going on from that they also said the Bard Showcase, which everyone expected already, is going to be next month. They confirmed it 100%. Bard will be the next thing we everyone, see. Not everyone gets that, but it's nice to have it confirmed. Exactly. And it's going to be happening this month, technically, considering yeah, exactly. the fact that it, that's in 27 days or even less. Who knows? Probably, probably less. Right. Right. No and that was probably yeah, most I'm, of the like pros, I think. The last Friday of July is on the 26th. Right. 23 days. Dang, that's crazy. We, right, if that's what they 23 have. days? The stream. The stream. 23 Bard days? Alpha really? Alpha 2 day. How do you feel about that? That means that in 23 days, we should have the Alpha 2 day. Like, do they really need that many days to get, like, all their shit together? Is that, like, really expected, all they need? I expected it today. I'm not going to lie to you. All right. Like, right, right, right. like how, how can you be so certain to give us this date in 23 days? right but, but not today because i feel like the bard showcase that's enough reason for people to tune in you get to see the bard right but this show it was so nuanced that it, an alpha 2 day would have it was so nuanced that i don't even want to show you guys the freaking youtube video because it's so yeah yeah I mean, it, it sounds like they're trying to like maximize the peaks and mm -hmm. like they don't care about how low the troughs are like how boring a stream is one miss ain't gonna hurt them but they when they want when they hit a banger like the bard showcase they want to knock it out of the park with an additional date exactly well i don't know it, that's like like Falco said how much of a difference could 23 days make in in your in terms of your planning because brian langford said it was just road mapping right yeah exactly that's all that's holding up alpha 2 it's just road mapping right and road mapping bug fixes they said but i mean they already have all the content that's going to be at the beginning of Alpha 2, so that's all that really is a thing. Right. There were a few cons, though, that we said, and I know a lot of you guys are going to be, like, probably downloading my video or thumbsing down it because, oh, snap, I actually have some constructive criticism that isn't glazing, at, like, ashes. Like, obviously, we love the community, and I'm not a brand risk just because I don't like everything that fucking that Steven and the, like, yeah. company do. I'm not a brand risk because of that. Like, I have my, my concerns and my freaking, you know, stuff that I, that I would... You know be it like like to say um but the cons are um what's called they're re-releasing the alpha 2 keys without like a clear pricing obviously um they're going back and forth in it a lot of us who probably already own keys are probably feeling some type of way because if they're just going to release the keys which they said without any cosmetics that means they're probably going to be a lower price and a lot of us really didn't care about, about the, the cosmetics the right the only, reason, the only reason a lot of people bought the key is because they were going away mm -hmm. we didn't have a choice to buy it without the cosmetics exactly. and now Mar margaret said she tried to phrase it in such a way that it wasn't gonna you know piss, piss people, people off, off. Like, yeah. like she tried to say but don't worry there won't be any uh, i don't know if she mentioned the marks of ember maybe there will maybe there won't be mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but uh, she said there won't be any rotating cosmetics with these keys it'll just be the key for the access exactly. and, like that's all that people wanted margaret right that's that's what people wanted to purchase. Y'all just didn't have the option to do it. Right. And now, now the people who didn't act out of FOMO, I guess this is how it always goes in life. The people who don't FOMO in end up getting a better deal in the long term. Exactly. Like, Damn, that's all funny. 
but um, exactly. yeah, it's like it's kind of a slap in the face, but I I get it. Actually, I don't get it, but I get it. Mm. I mean, I you don't feel I don't really. I, she said they were really releasing the Alpha Two Keys because of this of this meshing system because they're gonna have more basically servers to house all these players. But in the other vein, she says that they've been working on this for years, so it kind of contradicts the why they're re-releasing it. And I know oh, yeah. a lot of people are gonna be like, "Well, you're pulling you're pulling shit out of your ass." No, she they literally said this. Like, she said that they've been working on this for years to come, probably over the last four or so amount of years. I don't know. She didn't give like a real, but she said years. No, she said since Alpha One, yes. we've been working on it. It was in the reply to chat, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It was actually yeah. right. It, it, it said the the Margaret. Someone said, "Will we be experiencing this in Alpha Two? And Margaret replied, "We've been working on this since Alpha One, but you'll be experiencing it in mm. Alpha Two. Exactly. So that means it's been in the works since Alpha One, but only now are they using it. They're using it as an excuse now to re-release Alpha 2 key sales because their servers can handle more people, but they've mm -hmm. been working on this the whole time. Right. So that so they knew that this was going to be a thing. Like they needed this anyway to to house they, all the yeah, people they wanted they, in they the servers. It. You you make a game with 10,000 people per server. I'm assuming you have that in mind. Right. With, like that that you can't It's just weird. Yeah. That was just super it, weird. It, no it just, it. Right. It's kind of sus. It's us. But like I said, I I'm, I, I do feel kind of like a slap in the face, like depending on how they price the stuff, obviously, because yeah. we buy into it. But like, I understand. They need to make money. Or they need to, you know. It, it better be just an alpha two key, because right now the alpha packages we got, they give you alpha and you can play the betas. Exactly. Exactly. If they re release, come on, just make it an alpha two key, price it. You know, you didn't, <laughs> you didn't, you didn't act. Yeah. Like you, you didn't get that great of a deal. You're right. My, uh, I agree. I agree. You know, I know you guys are going to downvote the video. Like the more testers, the better, but they already, they're, they're playing it very safe, trying to not let in more than a thousand people in July. The right. floodgates are going to open to a hundred thousand people in September. Exactly. I don't think there's that many more testers. Exactly. The only way they would need more testers is if they do not adequately space out content for people to test and keep people exactly. engaged in testing the game consistently that's the only reason and that's that's just it sounds I, I, like i said i love the game i want the game to succeed but i gotta i gotta say i gotta say it how it is like i said i gotta say how it is um My story i gotta say how i feel how i see it right right <laughs> there's not a slap it like we don't have to always be sugar plums and cherry drops over here right we really don't it's, it's so it's such a stigma in this community if you look at all the videos that are covered after each showcase mm -hmm. they're like a hundred percent positive right people say every showcase is the best showcase it's so weird in this community exactly exactly and it's like nah that's, i mean that's me talking not falca that's me talking but that's a little it's, i mean I, I i get it i get it like like everything can't be sugar pumps and raindrops all the time and it's like yeah. you got to take the good with the bad and you got to be able to give actionable feedback and the actionable feedback in this sense for this is treat your original backers right when you try to put these keys out again i'm not saying don't put them out because obviously you want people to continuously test the game we want people to continuously trickle in to, to like test the game but it's like yeah. don't slap your freaking original backers in the ass in the process that's what i'm saying be be smart about it that's my feedback yeah. be smart about it because you may rub some people the wrong way i get it you're a business but be be and be I'll, mindful. I don't, I don't think I don't, I don't think the fact that now their servers can hold more people is the reason they're reopening sales. It's definitely not. Know. That was that was definitely a cop out. That was definitely a cop out. <laughs> I get it. They said they said they've hired fifteen percent more personnel. It's not cheap salaries. I get it. Maybe mm -hmm. they need more income to pad the books or whatever for a mm -hmm. successful launch. Whatever they got to do. But that was not the reason. That was a whatever the reason. Was. That, that was, was not the reason. That was a very like debunkable reason. Right. <laughs> like they they outed themselves when they said they've been working on this for so long and then they said all right like yeah all right now that we have this technology right it's like nah nah oh. but going right. on from that going on from that the one hour powerpoint um presentation on a delayed stream obviously steven was sick we want steven to be as well as possible i get it right. i'm just saying but i'm just i'm just putting out there the one hour powerpoint on a topic that went over a lot of people's heads a lot of it because i i know that they tried to preface the stream as being like a stream 
for people who may want to get into like IT and get into like coding and stuff like that. But it's like, give me a break, guys. You you know the clientele that watch your streams. All these people who watch your streams are like 30 and 30 plus, maybe a few under under 30, and they probably already got their job and their kids and the most part, they're in a career. They're already they're not, in their career. They're not to start a new career. Right. Like, people were saying this like there was a bunch of 16 year olds in the chat who were right. like, hey. For for those of you interested in a career in IT, it's like no, everyone here is a mechanic. Right, <laughs> right. No, nah, like everyone, no one's, no one's. Everyone here is already solidified. <laughs> everyone got their own job or they're retiring soon. So I'm like, <laughs> they're not, they're not doing that. Uh, but I get it. You're trying to promote. You're trying to get people to come in and, and apply. You're trying to, you know, do PR and marketing so you can get more people. I get yeah. it. I get the. Pl I get what you were trying to do, but it's it was it, it made it, it made us chuckle a little bit because it was like, Steven, you know who who watches this shit, right? You know, <laughs> stop it, Steven, yeah, stop it. Um, at the at the start, that that meal that Loreforge made, right, right. Nothing but like like elderly, not elderly, but like you know mature men making yeah. content on this game. Exactly, exactly. So Steven understands that. Right. Yeah, also, they thought Steven was here because for the first, for the first hour and a half of the of the live stream, I was like, Steven didn't need to be here for this. Right. They could have done. This. They could have done this on time. But right. if Steven wasn't here, all we would have had is Brian Langford. Maybe you'll get a date next month. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, maybe yeah. I'll get a date next month. We get a date next month either way. Because yeah. if we don't get a date, then we know it's September. Right. Right. <laughs> if we do get a date, it's still September. Right. Honestly, we kind of needed Steven. Steven's the life of the party. I feel like now the more I think of it, like we needed him there. Cause like Brian wasn't talking, like Margaret like chimed in every now and then, but like Steven's the life of the party in the stream. So it's like, Steven's he needs... like he's an asset. I love that man. <laughs> right, oh. right. So it's like, it is what it is. But we love you, Steven. Like we said, we we don't we don't think you're trying to like pull, pull the wool over eyes or anything like that. We fuck with you. Yeah. We just see, we, we just certain things is kind of shaky um and so it's okay to call that out it's okay to say that right no, don't 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 nail us to a cross right don't blackball us please um don't blacklist us <laughs> right but going on from it um there was no mention of them attending pax west either which i'm assuming they're probably not going to attend pax west because i assume they would tell us um since pax west is going to be at the in August. Yeah, in the end of August. Like August or something like that. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it makes sense why they're not attending if they want to get all of Alpha One in by the end of August. That's what Margaret said. Yeah. As, as August progresses, they're gonna get the rest of Alpha One in. Mm -hmm. So, I don't. How big was Alpha One? Do you remember? Like a few thousand. A few thousand. A thousand. Okay, so that's not much, honestly. Yeah, a few thousand. Like probably like five thousand, thinking. maybe. I forgot. Yeah. If they if they are struggling or like hesitant to take in five thousand players, like they're do, they're only doing a thousand at the start. Yeah. If they can't handle an inflow of five thousand, mm -hmm. what are they gonna do in September? It's over a hundred thousand. That's the fun part. We'll we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> we'll why, see. Why, why are they taking Alpha One in batches? That's a very small amount of people mm -hmm. for what they're playing, especially with this technology. Honestly, the thing is. There, we don't know how much each of the server mesh servers, or how big they're gonna be. They could be like 2,000 people per server mesh server, or maybe it's 500. Like maybe mm -hmm. they only need enough to fill up two batches of like the server mesh servers to, to test to see like how much they go through. So they didn't really tell us how much each server is gonna be able to like hold. So I will give them that. Yeah. Cause like, I know what, what's called Star Citizen. They were testing like 400 here, 500 here in each each server mesh server. So, um, I see that. so we'll see. I don't. Valid. It's not gonna be like 10,000 per server, you know? No, yeah, definitely not. Right. So it's gonna be interesting. But, but man, some of the tech was really cool this stream. It was the first time I've seen it. Like that um, dynamic. So what was it called? Dynamic gridding? Mm -hmm. or what were they called? Dynamic something where they where they, if, if a huge influx of people pops into one of the sub servers then mm. they can split into more sub servers mm. that's really cool i've never seen any of this in other games before right right but we're not gonna get into that yet we'll get into that during the podcast yeah, um because this uh, one's already kind of i didn't know we were going 20 minutes but this one's already kind of getting getting a little lengthy i didn't want to go too too deep into it because yeah come back 
I need I need to pad my content because we didn't get much. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we were thinking the whole time. The stream was going. They showed us a PowerPoint and we said we're supposed to make content on this. Yeah. For a month. yeah. It was a well made PowerPoint, but no one's reading all that. Right, right, right. No, and that's. I was like, how am I gonna pad my content? I need content for 23 more days. You look at the chat, the chat was so silent you could hear a, a, a fucking space bar drop. Right, right. I was like, no. But it's all good. It's all good. Well, we, we'll have the content. Like I said, come back. Um, go Make sure you guys go follow the Rebirth Radio YouTube channel, which will be down below in the description next video we're, we're gonna be putting i'm a, or i'm going to be i mean i'm gonna be putting the other like episodes that are on this channel onto that one like slowly but surely so that they're like all in one because like concise spot but uh -huh. um keep a lookout for that but also we will be doing another uh rebirth radio with a special guest um sometime in the middle of this month um so look out for that it should be fun it's a cool it's 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 uh probably the guest i'm most excited to make content with in this space so exactly. far I'm exactly. looking forward to it right it's gonna be dope it's gonna be fun um he's a dope he's a dope person so um look out for that and i'll see you guys in the next video um thank you for yep. being here yami i appreciate you yep. bud thanks for having me and thanks for watching guys let's try to get through july it's gonna be a dry one it's definitely gonna be a dry one <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry in advance for all the New Alpha 2 information leaked? No. Bard coming soon? No. Oh, this month is gonna suck. Anyway, I'll we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace out, guys. Someone like you and all you know and how you speak.